Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Neon. This is the fifth video in our developer series where we will walk through how to deploy a simple ERC20 contract with Foundry on Neon DevNet. Just like in all our videos, this document with all the links will be publicly available on our GitHub and I will include a link to that repo in the video notes below. So to start, Neon is an Ethereum virtual machine, so it is compatible with standard Ethereum tools like Foundry. Foundry is a development environment, testing framework, and deployment tool for Ethereum smart contract developers. It's designed to facilitate the entire lifecycle of developing smart contracts. The important differences with Foundry and other frameworks like Hardhat or Truffle is you can write your tests and deployment scripts all in Solidity, which is great for removing the need to context switch between languages. This also means you do not have to worry about big numbers or ABIs. Also, because Foundry is written in Rust, there are massive improvements in speed. These features make Foundry a growing favorite among Solidity developers. In this video, we will walk through our Foundry example and the Neon Labs GitHub repo, Neon Tutorials. In that walkthrough, we cover installation, account creation through MetaMask, compiling the contracts, running tests, deploying the contract, and bash scripting for better developer experience. The prerequisites for this video are to have a MetaMask installed, configure Neon EVM DevNet through Chainlist for your MetaMask, get Neon tokens for gas via Neon Faucet, and you can see how to do all of this in our Getting Started video, which we will include a link to here and in the video notes below. In the additional notes section, I cover the .env file and the variables you will need for it. I also mentioned I created a bash script to handle deployment because the scripting experience for EVM chains that have faster block times is not great yet for Foundry. So we are doing that with this project using a bash script. So now let's get into the walkthrough. This is our repo that has the walkthrough for deploying the ERC20. And again, this will be included in the show notes. But just to start, the first step is to install Foundry. I already have it installed, and I'll demonstrate that with the Foundry up command. So it's updating here, and it's done. So this step is complete. The next step is to clone the repo. As you can see, I've already cloned that. So we will move to the next step. We will install these dependencies. I already have them installed and I'll show you where they show up at. So here. Next, we set up the network in MetaMask. So I've already done that. You can see my neon for gas. And Next, we get Neon tokens. So <clears throat> I already have tokens, but I'll show you how to get them from the faucet here. So just type 100, send, and then open the wallet. It should be updated. So you can see I have 100 new DevNet tokens. And finally, you extract the private key from the wallet. So you can do that here. and you put that private key in your .env file there. I'll show you how I do it, just to be clear. It's in the root directory. And yeah, you can see it here. One other point, put 0x in front of your private key. And this is a test private key, so like if you want to steal my neon, testnet neon, go ahead. Uh, then we're going to run the source.env command. So this makes the environment variables available to CLI commands. Now we are going to run the build. So to understand what we're building here, you can see this test ERC20. And it's just a standard ERC20 from the open Zeppelin dependency. So let's run build. Okay, let's delete these to demonstrate that it works. I already built before, but let's just show that it works. Okay, you can see that it successfully compiled. Okay. 
Next, we're going to run the test. So, as you can see here, here's all the tests. And notice the important thing they are all written in Solidity. So, no JavaScript. Uh, and this is the thing that everyone loves about Foundry is that you don't have to write JavaScript for tests or your deploy scripts. It's all Solidity. So let's go ahead and run the tests. And everything ran. Notice how fast that was. So much different from hard hat and truffle experiences if you ever ran tests there. Next, we're going to deploy the contract. So this is the deploy command. It is utilizing a lot of the environment variables that we made available to the command line. So through the source.env, so the money sign, private, private key, money sign, RPC URL, that's all coming from our .env file. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, you can see that it's successfully deployed. We can go check out the uh, contract address. So here's the contract. We can check the explorer. We can see the deployment here. And yeah, we have successfully deployed to DevNet. So next I want to show you the deploy script to make this easier. So I wrote this deploy script to help with whenever you can't use the Solidity scripting on certain EVMs because of the block times, you can use a bash script like this to have uh, certain variables carry over. Meaning, you know, like let's say you deploy something, but you want to extract the contract address out of that deployment. So you can, you know, run it in a, in a subsequent uh, command. So here we are making the the bash file executable and then we will execute it. Oh, I need to save the file. Okay, so it has successfully built, ran tests, and deployed. So now I'm going to demonstrate the commented part where you can store the contract address and reuse it in another command later. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. The result should be the contract address printed to the terminal. So there we go. So Yep, this is the, the way that you can get the address to carry over. So we have successfully deployed a ERC20 contract with Foundry, and we have done it with a deploy script as well. So I hope this was helpful in learning how to deploy to Neon DevNet with Foundry. We will see you in the next video.